Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We literally just finished reacting to Jungkook's um, song "Standing Next to You," the music video, and honestly, I'm still shook. Mr. Jungkook Jackson, hello. <laughs> but I got his album open here, and we're gonna be listening to this album. I'm so excited to hear it. I know that it's a pop album. I think it's all English songs, eleven tracks. Let's get straight into it. I can touch you through the phone. I can touch you through the universe. In another time zone. That's the only time I can reverse. But when there's no dimension. There's only one I'm missing. If you feel alone. And you don't have to feel that no more. Jack Harlow fan, okay? So, this song, yeah. By the way, I reacted to this song on my channel. So, if you want to see my first time reaction to the song, you can check it out. Woo! Alright, the next song is Closer to You. Oh, this is featuring Major Lazer. Ooh, this is a pop dance album. I like Major Lazer. First time listen. This track sounds like something you'd want to drive to at night in the city. Like city pop vibe. I like it already. I wish this was re like, released in the summertime. But it does have that nighttime feel. Like if you're in the club or driving at night and you want like a pop mix, but you want something a little like, you know? This is it. JK times Major Laser never thought I would see the day of this crossover, but honestly, this whole album is very much that. And then the next track is seven. Interesting putting 3D and then closer to you. But and seven, you know, because those are 3D and seven are like high energy and then closer is like more mellow. I love Lado's verse so much. <laughs> okay, and then standing next. So let's see how that sounds after seven. Okay. I feel like it should have been 3D7 closer to you than standing next to you. This beat, I just want to say, I just reacted to standing next to you on my channel. If you haven't seen it, check it out, as I said before. But listening to this song, when I rewatched the music video and listening to it now, standing next to you kind of have like that Calvin Harris kind of beat. I don't know if you guys are familiar with his album that he dropped um, last year. It was a summer album. Um, Funk, Funk Groove, I think it's called. I don't remember, but I love that album and I listen to it pretty often and this beat is very similar to a Calvin Harris beat and then that Jackson Michael that Michael what am I saying that Michael Jackson sample Woo. 
but this part it sounds exactly like the vibe that Calvin Harris has on his album last year so I really like this song <laughs> I want to know who did this beat I honestly would not be surprised if it was Calvin Harris's beat like if you were to put this song on his album from last summer it would have fit seamlessly because a lot of the tracks sound exactly like this check it out if you haven't checked it out check it out I don't remember this part being in the music video this breakdown here Michael Jackson uh, 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 uh. Woo! A bop. Love it. Okay, next track is Yes or No. That's a different switch from standing next to you to Yes or No. This is giving me me like nostalgia why does it sound like Ed Sheeran give me Ed Sheeran vibes I like this part definitely give me Instagram vibes as well please don't change featuring dj snake this is gonna be another pop bop okay the vibes have changed The way this thing, song built up just a while ago, I thought it was gonna like drop a heavy bass, but then I was like, the song's almost done. But the layout of this album is very interesting because Please Don't Change to Hate You, I guess it makes sense in terms of the context of the song, but in terms of the sound, like sonically, it's like a big change. Somebody. I don't even re recognize JK's voice here. Mm. The beat jumped in so randomly. In the background of this track like i like when that beat drops the beat drops so randomly to me or like at the point when you don't expect it to drop but then every time i'm like getting into it you hear that and then it takes me right back out of the song it's almost distracting <laughs> Takes me out of the song every time. Too sad to dance. This song is so extra encoded. <laughs> So Ed Sheeran coded. It was cute though. It's a very cute song. The next one is Shot Glass of Tears. I'm very intrigued to see what this song's like. Tell me I'm I'm 
wondering if Charlie Puth wrote any of these songs. Some of them kind of have his kind of sound to them, including this one, Shot Glass of Tears. It kind of has that Charlie Puth kind of sound. I can hear Ed Sheeran, Charlie Puth, and maybe like um, Calvin Harris on this album so far. A little bit of, um, and I say Charlie Puth because Charlie Puth wrote songs for Justin Bieber and Kid Leroy. And his sound is very, it's not specific, but he has like a little sound. And I could hear it in some of these songs. So I'm intrigued to know who the writers are for each track. Yeah, that song was definitely in my top three. Yeah. I really, really like that song. All right, guys. That is it for the JK album review. Hope y'all enjoyed that listening party with me. Wow. Okay, this album, it, I was very, very intrigued with how the album was laid out, but I think they laid it out more based on like the context of what he was singing about. Um you know what he was singing about and the titles things like that i realized that's kind of how they laid it out and not by how it sounds sonically even though i noticed that most of the more um, upbeat songs or like pop songs are at the top and then more of like the more chill in my feelings kind of songs are at the bottom or you know so it trickles down the mood trickles down and then it comes back up with seven clean version right but I this album was what I expected but also not what I expected it's like I guess I expected in terms of like the sound like pop because I know he was gonna go for a pop album that was obvious and you know a lot of the songs have that kind of mainstream um sound in the west um and a lot of those songs that usually do well like on the charts and I know that's what he's going for. He's trying to make a name for himself, especially in the pop category. I know that he looks up to people like Justin. T um, he looks up to people like <laughs> Justin Bieber, you know, that really were, you know, up there in the top of their careers, you know, being young, you know. So I know he's trying to make a name for himself in the pop space, especially in the West. Um, while he has the chance until he goes back to his brothers when you know. 2025 is here but the album was good though the album was good and it's not that i wasn't expecting it to be good because that would be crazy not to think right but if i was to choose my top five tracks closer to you let me tell you obviously i like seven and 3d duh standing next to you is one of my probably in my oh shoot this is hard okay listen i'm just gonna give you my top five <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys my top five. Standing next to you, shot glass full of tears, shot glass of tears. I like 3D, um, seven. Um, please don't change was good too though. I do like closer to you too. And I think I liked somebody, was it somebody? I think I like somebody too. God damn listen yeah so if you haven't seen my reaction to um standing next to you and also to 3d it's on my channel go and check it out if you're interested and thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't subscribed already because why not we have some more content coming out you know look forward to it also i'm gonna be reacting to jimmy's kitchen on my patreon starting this week and i'm excited so well starting next week because it starts tomorrow but yeah if you're interested in watching jenny's kitchen with me come on over to my patreon okay but thanks so much for watching i will see you guys in the next reaction video